Today I'm going to be going over the top five military surplus firearms of 2020 that I believe you should pick up for your collection. Uh, again, we are a small channel, so going down and hitting that subscribe button and a like is greatly appreciated. Let's get into it. Uh, again, I would like to remind you guys, I'm not going in-depth just yet. I would like to make more videos on um, these specific rifles, but right now it's just an overall analysis and um, kind of a cost and why you should purchase this firearm and how readily available they are. Thanks. Starting on our list at number 5, we have one of my personal favorites. Ishpor 2A1, chambered in 762 by 51 NATO. This rifle doesn't seem to get much love in the Milsoup community, and I really can't fathom why. They're sturdily built and externally resemble a SMLE number 1 Mark III. Its distinguishing features, being its squared off magazine, as well as many features of the nose cap, are also squared off, such as the sight protectors. These rifles are usually in pretty rough shape, but are still readily available. It can be found from anywhere from $350 all the way up to six or $700 for nice examples. These rifles also hold the distinction of being the last general issue bolt action rifle, which I think is pretty neat. I would highly recommend picking one of these up if given the opportunity and I don't think you'd regret it. Now onto my number four pick. At number four we have the Arasaka Type 99. Chambered in 7.7mm, also referred to as 7.7 .7 Jap, it replaced the Type 38 Arasaka and saw heavy use by the Japanese during the duration of the Second World War although the Type 38 was not completely phased out. Many of these made their way to the US and can be found today for anywhere between 300 for last ditch examples of poor quality, all the way up through 800 or more for an example with all the bells and whistles. These including an intact mum, anti-aircraft sights, a monopod, a dust cover off the top of my head. While an intact mum is not rare, it is much harder to find and can significantly increase the value of the rifle in question. And an important note for new collectors, remember to always look for matching numbers on any rifle you may be interested in purchasing. These rifles are still cheap and can be had for a reasonable amount. They are beautiful, robust, and hold great historical value. The Type 99 is a must-buy. Now on to number 3. Coming in at number 3, we have the French Moss 36. A short, handy rifle, chambered at 7.5 French, these are often considered the odd man out. With many quirky features, which include a swept forward bolt handle allowing for better hand positioning when cycling the rifle, and a cruciform bayonet which is cleverly concealed in a tube below the barrel. Adopted in 1936, many pre- and mid-World War II production rifles have split individual sight protectors, while post-World War II production rifles will have a full front sight hood like you'd see on a K98. Many can be found in near unfired condition, but can fetch a premium. While the Moss 36 has been hard to come by in recent years, you may still be able to locate a couple on the secondary market for a decent amount. Prices usually range from $400 to $700 for exceptional examples. I personally have also been able to find reasonably priced ammunition, surplus, and modern for sale online and at local gun shows. An interesting and well thought out rifle that would fit well in any collection. Number 2. A little bit of a curveball, but in my opinion, the Type 38 Arasaka is criminally underrated in the Millsurp community. And yes, I know, I put two Arasakas on one top five list. Deal with it. Chambered in 6.5 Japanese, this rifle is a smooth shooter with minimal recoil. It served the Empire of Japan valiantly from 1905 all the way up to the conclusion of the Second World War. The Type 38 is sleek and easy on the eyes while also being affordable. Prices range from 300 for fair examples up to 400 through 700 for rifles in better condition. Rifles retaining their mum will of course bring a premium like the Type 99. Some may also still retain the original dust cover, which again will push the price upwards. The Type 38 is still ever present in the surplus community and can be found at local gun shops and on the secondary market. Ammunition is somewhat difficult to come by, but can be had for a reasonable amount from modern manufacturers. The Type 38 would be a welcome acquisition to any collection. Now, before I reveal our top spot, I'd like to make an honorable mention. For our honorable mention, the venerable Swiss K31. Serving the Swiss Armed Forces from 1933 until 1958, these beautifully made straight pull rifles are chambered in 7.5 Swiss and boast tremendous accuracy at the range. In recent years, the Swiss K31 has been steadily increasing in price along with the Swiss GP11 surplus ammunition, which seems to be going the way of the Dodo. If you can snag one of these solid rifles at a good price, don't hesitate. They will only ever increase in value. Now, onto the top spot. Holding the number one spot for surplus rifles I believe are a must buy in the year 2020, the Finnish M39. These gorgeous rifles helped defend Finland in the Winter War and later the Continuation War, repelling the continuous Soviet onslaught. Chambered in 762 by 54 r these are amazingly accurate and fun to shoot rifles with ammunition still being plentiful. The Finns refined the Mosinagant platform and used many captured rifles and parts from their adversary in addition to producing their own. 
These rifles can still be had for around the $500 mark and are usually in good to excellent condition. If you have a different opinion on anything I've said in this video, feel free to drop it down in the comments. Again, I am not an expert and never claim to be. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again next time on Tipton Pros. Thanks.